we have a new version of the fly app available. And uh, a good friend of the channel, Gavin HR, he has actually tested it out on Android and he had a lot of issues here. So let's just see here. It's 158. So um, I basically decided that I wanna take the drone out for a short spin here, just to make sure that everything is like it's supposed to be. So there are not that many new things going on here with the 158 as the majority of uh, the new stuff that is being released is... Oh, there's somebody down there, so we better turn around here. <laughs> so there's not that much released now with the, the 158 here. It's uh, mainly uh, features uh, that have been expected for the Mavic 3, but there are a few things that they have added. Gavin HR, he had a ton of problems uh, with his app not performing like uh, like he wanted it to, which, and uh, not being able to control the gimbal and uh, a lot of other spooky stuff. Uh, so if you're an Android user, I'll make sure to link his video somewhere so you can go and check this out. Right now I'm running a 158 on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, and there is absolutely no issues with operating the gimbal or the drone behaving like it's not supposed to. So one of the things that we have received here is that if I stop the video here and I flick it into auto and I flick it into manual mode, you would see that they have basically redesigned the whole menu system down here. So they have taken all of the settings that they finally that previously were packed into like separate sliders and organized them very nicely so I can adjust the shutter speed here. I can adjust the ISO. And I can also go over here under this and I can change the resolution. So it's very, very nicely organized. I can also see how much storage that I have left on the SD card. So that is uh, pretty nice. There's uh, the white balance up here, this trick here, that way you can basically put it on auto like that and then let the drone determine what the white balance is, on the image and then we set it into manual, and then it simply adapts. I don't know why it's actually changing <laughs> the temperature of the image. That kind of defeats the purpose. So maybe that was not such a good trick anyway. But you have here all the resolutions, the different resolutions for the drone. 4K is my preferred, 30 FPS. And uh, also uh, when we are out here, we should basically be reducing the shutter to 1 over 60, and that in this case means that the footage is all exposed with one stop, which is not that good. So in this case, I will start to just crank up the shutter speed until the footage is zero or slightly underexposed. So that's a pretty neat feature that we will be getting with this update. See right now it is super underexposed because we are looking downwards. So maybe we should just flick it into Stop it here and flick it into auto here. <clears throat> so let's just fly a little bit around here, just to see if everything is like it's supposed to be. This is such a nice, nice area. Need to be careful with the people down there. Let's just go in this direction so we don't interfere with them. So they're just uh, putting in fiber in the area here. So <laughs> that's why they're all this, this building, the machinery here, down here. So as, as I can see, we are not getting much new with this 158. It seems pretty stable on iOS. So there shouldn't be really no, no, no real issues here. Let's just park the drone here for a second again. And go through the menus here. Drone charging. That's a nice one. They reintroduced that. It's not new with 158, but it's uh, they took it away for a short while. You see the camera settings here. Everything looks more or less like it used to. So this was a short test flight with the uh, iOS 150. And uh, as far as I could see, there was absolutely no problems with that uh, DJI fly up. So you could safely proceed to that. I would be a little bit more careful if you're using Android, especially after I've heard about the issues reported by Gavin HR. 
So I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.